So let's look at tree shaking. This should be a very short lesson, but I think it's quite important concept to grasp. So we're going to go through it. Before I start anything, let's just clean up our roll up the config. So I'm going to remove all system.js stuff. And we're not going to worry too much about it. Uh, let's change our format to ES6 modules. And let's adjust the TS config and let's say ES next. Dealing with legacy browsers is not as simple as changing the module type and including correct module loader. In reality, what happens, we don't want to ship legacy code to a modern browser and the other way around. So what would probably happen, we would have some sort of browser feature detection, multiple bundles compiled with different module types and correct code sent to a browser. Tree shaking. What does it mean in the context of bundler and JavaScript? It basically means remove any unused code from the bundle. And it's simple as that. So let's have a look. How does it actually looks like? Let me open my terminal and quickly run NPMI. After that, I'm going to add two additional modules to our modules folder. One is going to be called shake and another one called unshakable and i come back to this one in a minute let's imagine this situation uh, we've got our shake module and we have a couple of functions in that module that get exported like so if i go back to my app.ts and i import some of these functions func1 from modules shake now I should be able to use that func1. Now, if I try to compile this, what we should see is that the func1, it's going to be included in our bundle. So if I go back to JS, app.js, we can see that our function is included. So even though this is a module, because we export in, function by function when we actually import in in our app.ts only the used functions will be included in our bundle and this is basically what tree shaking is so even if i try to import the function and i'm not going to use that we're still going to see that this function is not going to be imported in our app.js so let's go back and use this one like so and we'll see that our bundle will contain both function but not function free and this is looking really really good it means that we can export certain functions from our modules and if we use them they're going to be included in the bundles if not they're not going to be used and this is very good for optimization but there is another case when we cannot perform tree shaking and actually is a little bit disappointing so this time, let's look at our unshakable module. I'm going to define a class like this. And unfortunately, classes cannot be shaken. So even though we have multiple methods and we don't use certain methods, they're going to be still included in our bundles because classes are not shakable. So whenever we export the class, all class as a whole, Will be included in our bundle so let's quickly have a look at this so we've got our unshakable module so let's import this in our app.ts import unshakable from modules unshakable and now if i try to instantiate this class const unshakable equals new unshakable and let's call method one so i do un method one and what we would hope for is that only this particular method will be included but this is actually not true if we look at our bundle we're going to see that the whole class is being included in our bundle and this is a little bit disappointing because i really like classes and object-oriented programming but this is 
a bit of a problem when we're talking about fine optimization. So I think based on what we know about tree shaking and its behavior, I think it comes down to our decision how we want to deal with it. Uh, are we okay with using classes or we want the smaller bundles? But that's basically what the tree shaking is. And as always, if you like the video or this video helped you in any way, please remember to smash that like button or even subscribe. I will include the GitHub repository in the description and thank you for watching.